How you doing? I'm Tony. Welcome aboard Rambles on the Road. In today's video, I'm headed to the home of Jason Stucker. You may know him as JD Stucks. He invited me to train a Palooza where I'll be meeting up with the Detroit Three Railers and a number of other YouTubers. But before I go, you know I have to stop at Stockyard Express. Sit back and I hope you enjoy this video. I knew that Stockyard Express was going to be in farmland, but this was rural. It actually kind of reminded me of home. Stockyard Express is literally on a farm in the shadow of a barn. Once you're inside, however, you might as well be at MTH headquarters. The selection seemed endless, and that was in just the first room. The second room was even more impressive. There was tons of Rail King, tons of Premiere. There was so much I could spend an entire week there and still find new things. But I was on a time crunch, so I grabbed something quick for Jason and hit the road. I was just two hours away from Detroit. I finally got there at about two o'clock on Saturday, which reminds me, some of you might be wondering why I chose to drive rather than taking an airplane. It's a complicated story. It started with a $200 plane ticket, which ultimately became $500 because I waited too long to purchase it. No way was I gonna give the airlines that kind of money, especially when I have a car. So how much did it cost? Gas was $93. I had to stay at hotels twice. That was $280. Tolls were another eight. So I saved just over $100 and it only took me 16 hours in total for a trip that would have been four hours by plane. That's enough math for one video. Here I was in the basement of Jason's house, looking at a layout that I had only ever seen on TV. Well, the internet, but you get the idea. It was a dream come true, but it was only the beginning. I met folks that afternoon that I hope to consider friends long into the future. And there were lots and lots of trains. The Detroit three railers had this layout set up upstairs outside that was super cool. You could see just about anything from any era. And I even got to run my very own train. It actually took me a long time to figure out what to bring. But then it hit me. What's the name of my channel? Now arriving from Philadelphia on track one, the Reading Ramble. That's right, passenger freight announcements. I brought the Reading Rambles. I thought it was pretty on brand. What do you think? There it was, my ProtoSound 3, Reading T1, followed by six Lionel coaches and the caboose that I designed in my last video. I even got to run downstairs, which was so cool. Not wanting to disrespect Jason, I pulled a long drag of Norfolk Southern coal cars. This was one of the coolest experiences I've had. I've been watching Johnny or Autumnus on YouTube for years, and here he was filming my train. It was incredible. I met with creators from across the country, all thanks to Trainapalooza. Most of these guys I had met for the first time. Others I may have seen once or twice in the crowded halls of York. But there was one consistent theme throughout the whole day. I felt like I was with people who truly understood me and why I'm into trains. Maddie C said it on his channel the best. There's nothing like this community. And, you know, I really appreciated this opportunity to meet with folks who have similar passions as I do. I want to thank Sam from Sam's O Gauge Trains for taking many of these photos you see on the screen just now. Uh, he's a really awesome photographer. He has a YouTube channel. I'll link everything down below. It was really great getting to know Sam and so many of the other creators and Detroit three railers that were there that day. Although I'd only spent maybe nine hours there tops, it was such a cool experience. And I really have to thank Jason for that. It was a chance meeting at York in October last year that led me to create this channel. And I'm really proud of what I've done but I would not have done it without the encouraging words of Jason and folks like him. Just wanted to quickly mention a few other people who were so cool to hang out with. 
You know, you had Bill of Ozark Midland and Southern, Sid of Sid's Trains, Chris of Chris's Trains of Things, Oscale Everyday Isaac, Maddie C, and Adam of Train Wizard Productions. Finally, a big sincere thank you to Jason's better half, Shelby, for putting up with us all day. Well, viewers, before we part, I wanted to share one more thing with you. If you thought it looked like fun hanging out at Trainapalooza with all these folks, I wanted to tell you about the Run for Fun. Particularly if you're local to southeastern Pennsylvania, you should really check out this event being hosted by Harry Henning III and sponsored by Henning's Trains. The Run for Fun is a fundraiser for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia where you get to come and run your trains on a huge basement layout and support a good cause. They're expecting hundreds of people at Harry's house. It's in Sellersville, Pennsylvania. The doors open at 12 noon. I'll leave all the pertinent details down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you the next time.